Hello, I'm Shante Grant, creator of the Best Today Guide, owner of the Best Today Company, where we equip women with resources to be proactive and intentional with your time. Today, I'm gonna to walk you through how I use the Best Today Guide every single morning to do our morning practice, which is the third step in our three-step process. If you miss videos one and two, where I show you how I do step one, preview my week, step two, plan every day, the night or day before, I will link those below. And today I'm gonna to show you how I do our morning practice. So come on, I'll show you. So every morning as a part of my morning routine, as I explained um, in my morning routine video, which if you did not see, I will link to it below. Um, part of my morning routine is my best today morning practice. And it starts with writing out what my bedtime is gonna be. And I usually will write that right in here. 8.30 and then I'll put like in bed reading. So as long as I'm reading in bed, which means I'll probably be asleep by nine o'clock or I'll put eight o'clock, depends on the day, but I'll write that down right here. And then I go straight into writing the day. Let's say that this is Monday, March 29th. Um, and then what does my best today look like? Every day this changes, or most days this changes a little bit. There are some things that are the same, but what I do is I look over and say, okay, well, what does my day call for? And so I'll go back and review what is coming up in the day. Okay, this is what I need to do. This is how I need to show up. This is what's being required of me for this day. And I'll use that to decide what my best today um, is gonna incorporate. But also I might pull in something from my morning time reading because this is what I've done before I get to the best today guide. And I may say, okay, well this morning, I was reading about how important it is to trust in the Lord. And so I might say after reading that, okay, my best today looks like remembering to trust in the Lord and delight in the Lord. And so I love being able to incorporate, you know, my morning reading time or what I might journal about or something that I might even discover while journaling in the morning and incorporating that into my best today. So that's one thing that I'll do um, by including my morning time, you know, what I might have gathered or, you know, gotten out of my morning reading. I'll add that in here. Um, usually almost every day, I know, especially on work days, I need to be focused on the present and only, you know, that thing that whatever I'm working on, um, I almost always need to have joy, be very joyful. And so I will write joy or be joyful. Um, what does my best look like today? Again, it very much so matters. Um, that's giving my children 30 minutes each undivided attention screen free. Um, I know that that looks like um, screens free by, and then I set whatever that parameter will be. So maybe I'll say by eight o'clock. Um, also, I know my best looks like dinner on time because if dinner is late, it's going to derail our evenings. And guess what that's going to, to derail the next day, the next morning. So dinner on time is when I write frequently and going to bed on time. Very important because I know that if this gets derailed, it's going to have a ripple effect and not a good ripple effect. So I write whatever again it is that I might need in that day. Self-destructing things I need to avoid today. These also vary, but let's say I have a lot going on with work, a lot on my mind. I'm gonna tell myself, guess what? Worrying does no good, like literally no good. Worrying is not gonna help me today. You know what else? Going to bed late. You see how that's the opposite of what I said my best looks like, right? Going to bed late, um, dinner late, starting late. And I know I'm the one who can control this. Being, you know, ding, dinner being put on the table late um, for me is the self-destructive type because it just trails down. Now, does this mean like if we eat at 5.30 and we eat at 5.35, the world is gonna end? No, but if we eat at 5.30 and I just start cooking at 5.30, that's not gonna work out, right? So just reminding myself, Go on dinner late, um, screens after eight o'clock, if I've already told myself that we're not doing that. Like these are the things that are gonna derail me from being my best. They don't always have to correlate that a lot of times they just might. Um, because I know if I do these things, the reason why my best is doing this is because this is what allows me to be 
at my optimal best in the day, in the night, in the next day because it carries over. So I write those things out here and they're going to be called to my attention throughout the day. My vision for the future. I write pretty much the same things every day that relate to wealth, health, and relationships. Um, I am a generous millionaire. I am, and that's a really reiterating a very important core value and also being able to give. I can't be generous with money if I don't have any. <laughs> so generous uh, millionaire, I always write that I have a healthy runner. I write the things running with Zoe and Liam, my children, um, because I have this vision of us running races together as they get older, running with my grandchildren, pushing my grandchildren in a stroller in a race. Um, I have a vision of that. And so do you think that's going to motivate me to get my behind up and go for a run and stay active and stay healthy so I can do this in the future? You better believe it. The next thing I write every morning is have, that I have a close relationship with my, um, well, I usually write their names, my children each, but for now, since I've already started writing this way, close relationship with my children, does that make, can you see the correlation between having a close relationship with them and making sure that I give them some undivided attention, screen-free time each day? And if you remember, or if you haven't seen it, I'll link it below, saying, you know, what's important for me, um, 30 minutes of undivided time. Like you see, you start to see the correlation of, the things that matter to you show up in your day. Um, some other things I can't tell you because they're work-related, but I'll write those things down. So I'll write business-related goals, um, numbers that we want to hit, um, big projects that we have planned that we know may take three years, five years from now to take. I write those things down. So I'll write this down. Big, beautiful business goal. I'll write those things down here. Um, and then sometimes specific goals, like what we might want to do in second quarter. I'll write down second quarter that we've done X, Y, or Z. I'll write that down. Um, those are the things that usually go here. Um, again, and if you look at it, it's usually related to business, health, wealth, and relationships, because that's what a lot of things boil down to. And so these things keep me at the forefront and remind me what I'm, I can point to something I'm doing every single week, every single day that pulls me toward one of these things. And so one of the things I'm doing today, let's say if today is a non-work day, like on Mondays, I usually always write down here, ease into the week, because that's what my Mondays are for, allowing me to ease into the week slowly. That gives me peace, helps me to build relationships, actually helps me with um, not to be an overworkaholic um, and really just sets a boundary. And that's me enforcing a boundary that's really important um, about the things that are important to me being always having the space to be important. Um, for work, let's say if I'm doing something, let's say it's today and I'm actually recording something, then one thing I might be doing is recording videos to help people better understand the best today guide, like I am right now. And that's going to progress me toward my future because that's going to help us reach more women who can be helped by this product, which then allows us to further our mission in the earth and hit some of our business goals. And so that is how I plan or not plan my morning, but do the best today morning practice every single morning. So there you have it. That is how I use the best today guide every single morning, seven days a week, 365 days of the year. If you'd like to learn more about the Best Today Guide, I've linked videos below for you, but you can also check out our channel here. Also, if you're ready to order your Best Today Guide, you can do so at besttodayguide.com. That's besttodayguide.com. Hey, have you downloaded the Best Today Planning Manual? Inside, I'm teaching you how to think differently about planning, what planning is and what it is not, and the crucial thing that stands in the way between you and having effective planning particularly when it comes to planning your day. In fact, I give you a checklist for exactly how to plan out your day every single day so that you can be proactive and intentional with your time. You can download it right now for free at besttodayguide.com forward slash plan. That's besttodayguide.com forward slash plan, which I've also linked below. Get yours today at besttodayguide.com forward slash plan. The Best Today Planning Manual.